Hello and welcome to another installment of KDPS Real Talk. My name is Sydney and joining me today is Deanna. Thank you, Sydney. It's time for us to take a look at another classic film to share the good and the bad. This week's film is called Lemonade Mouth, so why don't we share with our viewers the information of the film. Sydney? The movie, Lemonade Mouth, rated PG, was released on April 15, 2011. It was directed by Patricia Riggin and is about an hour and 43 minutes long. With the cast of Bridget Medler, Adam Hicks, Haley Kiyoko, Naomi Scott, Blake Michael, and a number of talented actors, the film was nominated for two awards, Outstanding Direct Achievement in Children's Programs and Best Sound Editing Long Form Musical in Television. What did you think about the plot of the movie? I thought the plot was good, the characters were strong and didn't give up. It was always entertaining and engaging. How about you? What did you think? I feel like the plot had meaning and highlighted important issues. Like how schools tend to think of the sports as the most important, not the arts. As a theater kid, it does hit home. Speaking of acting, I thought the acting was great. Like in the beginning when Wynn is panicking because he didn't have his presentation and accidentally switched folders. The way he was freaking was exactly how I would have acted if I was in that position. What did you think about the acting? It could have been better, but for a 2011 movie, it was good. They were a little overdramatic, like in the scene when Olivia was talking about her dad. It was really overdramatic. What did you think about the songs, though? Determinate was stuck in my head for days. The songs were catchy and fun. My favorite has to be Determinate. It's upbeat and catchy, and I have to admit, it also got stuck in my head. What do you think about the camera work, though? It was, I personally thought it was stable and helped get the audience the message of the movie. In the scene when they were staring at the clouds after bearing their souls to each other, I thought the shots of the sky looked great, almost like I was looking at the sky myself. Not to mention the transitions were smooth and made sense to the story. The costumes also made sense to the time period. Early 2000 high schoolers, nothing was overdone or out of place. I agree. Stella's hair, Moe's wardrobe, it all screamed early 2000s and felt real. So what would you rate it? I'd rate it four lemons out of five. Just four? I'd say four and three-fourths lemons out of five. Tune in next week for another KDPS Real Talk. Bye! Bye!